Hello and welcome back to Underdog Investing. So today I want to talk about Virgin Galactic and more specifically I want to talk about the uh, tweets that we've seen from Virgin Galactic Twitter as well as Virgin Orbit Twitter. Before I jump into the video I'll be grateful if you can smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now starting with the Virgin Galactic stock you can see that pre-market we're at around $32 and that's a 5.4% increase compared to where we finished on Friday. Now that might not seem significant, especially as we've had some really exciting news from uh, Virgin Orbit and their successful launch on Sunday. We probably all thought the stock price would be higher than this uh, pre-market. But I'm just going to show you a few reasons why I am personally very happy with where we are in terms of the stock price so far. For that, we need to have a look at the one-year chart. Now, as you can see, since the IPO, there's only been two previous times when we managed to hit $30. That was in February of 2020 and December of 2020. So the fact that we actually managed to hit $30 and actually stay above $30 is actually a very impressive sign. And what's even more impressive is the fact that we're actually managing to set higher lows as we move along. So just a few times uh, just to demonstrate this. In March, we, you can see that we hit around $10.50 as a low. And then in June, you can see that it's around $14.5 as a low. In September it was around $16, November it was around $17 and this month, so in at the start of January, it's around $23. So personally for me that's a very bullish sign and I have a feeling that we're not really going to see anything below $25 from now. I have a feeling that our new base is probably going to be around $25 to $30. So moving on to the Virgin Galactic uh, Twitter, so just a few tweets to congratulate uh, their sister company Virgin Orbit. So huge congratulations to the entire team at Virgin Orbit on a successful mission to space. Uh, congratulations to our friends Virgin Orbit who completed their first mission today with Launcher 1, carrying nine CubeSat missions into low Earth orbit for NASA. Hashtag launch demo 2. And what's really important uh, from this tweet to gain is the fact that although Virgin Orbit and Virgin Galactic are separate companies, the success of one of them lifts the other company. So as you can see from the recent launch of Virgin Orbit on Sunday and its success, it's actually lifted Virgin Galactic. So that's a very positive thing to gain from this. Uh, so not much more from the Virgin Galactic Twitter, but moving on to the Virgin Orbit Twitter, you can see that the UK Space Agency has congratulated them. So congratulations to Virgin Orbit on the first successful full orbit launch of the Launcher 1 rocket. The same technology will enable horizontal small satellite launch from Space Cornwall, creating jobs and positioning the UK as Europe's leading launch destination. So that's actually very encouraging uh, for Virgin Orbit. Um, one of the things that I wanted to mention um, regarding their success of uh, their recent uh, t uh, test launch is that we have to remember that Virgin Orbit's first test launch back in May was actually a failure. And the fact that they've managed to learn from that failure and turn it into a very successful launch as we've seen on Sunday gives me a lot of hope and optimism that Virgin Galactic will be able to do the same. I have a feeling that Virgin Galactic's learned a lot from their first test flight. Their They've actually um, updated us on the 7th of January, I think it was, that they're actually fixing the issue and hopefully we can see another test flight soon. And this makes me very optimistic that the next test flight is going to be successful. Now, I've got a funny feeling that they are possibly going to update us in terms of um, what's going on with the ignition of the rocket motor and potentially a test flight uh, window at some point within the next few weeks. I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. So that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, I'll be grateful if you can smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And like I said, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you found it useful in any way, please share this video. Thank you.